Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of online privacy and security, and I'm going to show you how to set up a custom VPN using SSH and a slow DNS server. This method can enhance your online privacy, making it harder for others to track your online activity. So, let's get started. First, we'll need to grab a couple of handy tools. One, SSH Custom VPN app. Head over to the Google Play Store, search for SSH Custom VPN, and install it. This app will be our key to creating a secure connection. Two, UDP Custom. Let's open a browser and search for UDP Custom to visit the official website. This is where we'll set up our slow DNS server, which helps to mask your IP address and make it harder to track you. Now let's get into the setup process. One, select Slow DNS Server. On the UDP Custom website, tap the menu icon and select Slow DNS Server. Two, choose a server location. Pick a server location that suits your needs. Three, create a server. Here comes the fun part. We'll need to create a new server by providing a username, password, and completing the CAPTCHA. Four, copy the essentials. Keep your eyes peeled, we need to copy the server's IP address, username, and password. Okay, let's switch back to our SSH custom VPN app. Five, add a new profile, tap the menu button, select profile, and click add new configuration. Six, configure your profile. Give your profile a descriptive name, then enter the IP address, username, and password we copied earlier. We'll also need to add the public key and check the Slow DNS option. Finally, save the configuration. Now we're almost ready to go. Seven, connect and verify. On the home screen, tap the radio button to connect your VPN. Take a look at the logs to see the connection status. Now, go back to the UDP custom website and check your IP address to verify that the change has been successful. That's it you've successfully set up a custom VPN using SSH and a slow DNS server. Remember, using a VPN can help protect your online privacy and security, but it's important to stay informed about the latest threats and update your security measures regularly. Don't forget to check out our Telegram and WhatsApp channels for more helpful tips and resources. The links are in the description, and as always, give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. See you in the next video.